Welcome to Get Your FRQ On. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use a graphing calculator to solve love cosine problems. So let's say we have a triangle ABC, and we know that side A is 8, side B is 10, and angle C is 110 degrees. I can't use law of sines for this because law of sines requires that I know at least one angle side pair. So I would need to know like angle A and the length of the side opposite of A. I don't have that here. I know the length of side A, but I don't know the measure of angle A. I know the length of side B, but I don't know the measure of angle B. I do know the measure of angle C, that's 110, but I don't know the side opposite C. So I don't have any of the pairs I need. In most of those cases, uh, you can get away with using what's called the law of cosines, uh, which states that C squared is a squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine angle C. And if we're going to use a graphing calculator for this, this actually becomes a much easier problem. Uh, if I take that law of cosine's formula, C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine angle C, and I just take the square root of both sides, I have a formula uh, for finding the actual length of side C. It's a big square root formula, but since I'm going to be using my calculator to do the math anyway, I might as well uh, let it do all of the math. So I'm going to use my square root function, which is second, and then square root. Notice the blue square root there. And then my side A was 8, so I'm just going to go 8 squared. Plus my side B was 10, that's 10 squared. Minus 2 times A, which was 8, times B, which was 10, times the cosine of my angle C. Angle C was 110 degrees. Close that off, and then just make sure I exit out of the square root. Notice that there's a lot of arithmetic that could be done here uh, before we calculate this, but if we're going to ask our calculator to do it, we might as well ask it to do all of it. This also has the benefit of demonstrating that you know what the law of cosines actually looks like. Um, so rather than try to do this arithmetic yourself, maybe you make a mistake, all of a sudden you're not using the right numbers because you didn't catch it, and then your answer's off, type it in, at the most basic level, I enter, uh, that side C would be about 14.789 units long. 